Hi there. I've done this short flow for us today to help get the body moving and to open up our lungs. We're going to be focusing on using our breath coming through the flow today and getting a little more strength into our breathing routine while we help the body get stronger and more flexible. Let's go ahead, come over to the mat. Sitting comfortably. So I'm gonna start with my right leg crossed in front of my left in my easy pose. Beginning just by focusing on your body. Close the eyes. Let the shoulders roll down away from the neck. Remember this feeling of relaxation in the shoulders as we come through our flow, leaving them heavy and away from the ears in each position. We're gonna start here with 10 deep breaths. Just noticing how our breath is flowing today to begin. Is it shallow, only in the chest? Or are you able to take a little bit longer inhale and an even longer exhale to help start to open up the lungs and circulate air through the body? Not forcing the breath. Just drawing in slowly through the nose and slowly back out through the nose. Let's take one more long breath. Let it out slow. Go ahead, change your easy pose to bring the left leg in front and right behind. And we'll bring the hands into prayer. Press the palms actively together, feeling a little stretch in the wrists and take a twist over to the left. Being careful to move only from the spine and exhale. Inhale to release your twist. Exhale to the right and hold for a breath. Inhaling to come back to the center. Exhaling to reach up. Bring the hands down behind the hips and let the feet come up onto the mat, hip width apart. Take a rock side to side for 10 breaths. Inhaling to the center. Exhaling to the side. Inhaling to the center. Exhaling to the side. Keep moving for 10 breaths. Pressing actively through the palms to keep the chest open. In each pose we come through, we want to make that chest stay open so that our breath can move freely and we can strengthen our lungs. One more breath here. And take the knees back to the center. Let's take a hold behind the left thigh and reach the leg out in front of you. 
stretching through the hip flexors, stretching up the hamstring. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders rolled away. We're just staying still here, focusing on our breath. If you'd like, alternatively, you can take a strap or walk your hands up to the ball of the foot to extend into your hair and pose. Go ahead, gently release the leg down. Let the right foot come into the thigh and open that knee out to the side. Again, sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna reach up on an inhale. And exhale, bend from the hips to reach forward toward the leg or the foot. Again, if you can't reach the foot, wrap a strap around the ball of the foot to help keep the spine nice and long as you bend. Remember your breath. Gently release. Bring the feet in together into our cobbler's pose. Soles of the feet pressed in, and we'll take a hold of the ankles. Roll the shoulders back, sit up straight. Let the front of the throat open in a little stretch. On your exhale, folding from the hips, draw the chest forward. Now the important thing here is not how far down you come, but instead it's keeping our spine nice and long. So reaching the spine long as you fold. If the hips are feeling very tight in this position, you can bring the feet out a little bit further from the body and give yourself more space to bend in. Whatever you do, keep thinking about moving the shoulders away from the ears and keeping the spine long instead of curving up to try and dip in deeper. Open and breathe. Gently roll your way back up. And we'll take the left leg out long. One more time. Give a little hug into the right knee. Go ahead, bring the leg out. Coming into our heron pose. Again, your options are to take behind the thigh, come to the foot, or use your strap wrapped around the foot. Little balance challenge, you could try bending up that left knee now. Breathe and press through the heel of the right leg. Wonderful job. Let's release the leg down to the mat and let the left hip open up into our figure four. Taking a big breath in, sit up nice and tall and exhale, reach down over the leg. Again, feel free to use your strap here to reach. Keep the spine lifted, keep the chest open as you gaze forward. Breathe. Releasing the leg, let's gently roll our way up. Taking the soles of the feet back together, sit up tall in your cobbler's pose. Let the hips open as much as they feel comfortable. And on an exhale, take the chest forward to bend into your cobbler's fold. Wrapping the hands around the fronts of the toes, keeping the spine long. 
free. Slowly roll your way up. Bringing the knees back together, hands behind the hips, and take a windshield wipe side to side, just for three breaths. Exhaling down, inhaling to the middle. Exhale down, inhale to the middle. Bring the legs back up to center, and we're gonna make our way over onto our all fours in our tabletop position. Walk the legs out, hip width apart. Bring the hands down right underneath the shoulders. Press actively through the palms so the chest doesn't sink in. On an inhale, coming to our cow pose. Let the belly dip and look up. Exhale to cat, arching the spine. Let the chin come to chest and the tailbone tuck under. Inhale, dip the belly, look forward. Exhale, arch. One more here, inhale, look forward. Exhale to arch. Coming still in the middle, we're gonna tuck the toes and move our way up into downward facing dog. Go ahead, walk the feet out, bending one knee at a time. Let the head drop heavy. Find your breath again in this pose. Bring the feet still, let the hips reach up to the sky. And on your next inhale, moving through to your high plank, let your knees come down to the mat and we'll release down into Cobra. Bring your feet together, hands come right by the chest. Tuck the elbows to the rib cage as you lift up into baby Cobra. Exhale, bring yourself down. Inhaling again to rise. Exhale to bring it down. Inhaling, tuck the toes. Exhale to bring yourself back to downward facing dog. Moving slow and gentle with the body. Looking up between the hands, take a step forward and come to your forward fold. Inhaling halfway lift, we're gonna flatten the back. Exhale, release back to the fold. Inhaling, slowly roll to the top. Let the shoulders roll back. Open the palms forward in your mountain. Inhaling, reach the hands up, let palms come together. And exhale, come to a crescent bend. Inhale up to center. Exhale, crescent to the other side. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, hands to prayer in the heart. Taking our eagle pose from here. We're gonna inhale, sit down into your chair pose, bending the knees. Go ahead, cross the left leg over the right, pulling the foot into the calf. Let the arms come down, we're crossing left over right wrap around, lifting the elbows off the chest, feeling that stretch in the hips, the feet, the ankles, a 
let's unwrap our feathers and let the feet come down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms together. Crescent. Inhale, back center. Exhale, other side. Inhaling center. Exhale, hands to heart. Taking eagle on the other side. Go ahead, sit down into your chair, bend the knees and cross right leg over left, pulling that foot in toward the calf. Matching the arms, right comes over left. And we'll wrap together, lift the elbows off the chest. Breathe in balance. Unwrapping the feathers, unwrap your legs, big breath. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, let yourself come down seated again on the mat. From here, we're gonna reach the legs out long in front of us into our L sit or staff pose. Sit the spine nice and tall up over the hips, flex the feet, and then let the thigh muscles relax. Inhaling to reach high. Exhale, come to a fold, bending from the hips. Keep the spine long and the chest open. Shoulders always seeking to melt away from the ears. Gently roll your way up and come seated into a comfortable position. Let your eyes close again and the hands come to prayer over the heart. Taking a moment to give gratitude to your body for all it's able to do. Gratitude for the breath that flows in and out. Our heart that beats our life-giving blood all through our body without us even having to try. And finally, giving yourself gratitude for taking the time for your practice today. I send all my respect and gratitude to you for sharing your flow with me today. Namaste. Namaste.